Well, welcome once again to, uh, this is the third lesson out of Successful Christian Living, and this one has to do with keeping your focus on Jesus. And so in this lesson, we're going to consider the importance of fixing our gaze on Christ rather than on our sins or our failures in order to have successful and joyful Christian life. So have you ever felt discouraged or burdened by your sins or your failures in your Christian walk? Well, I want to present to you one of the simplest yet most powerful tools for victory and joy in the Christian life, and that is simply this, never lose sight of Jesus. Look to Jesus, not your sins. Now, I'm not giving you permission to continue in a life of sin. A true believer simply would not want to do that. There's no discussion or debate about that. It's just something a Christian wouldn't want to do. The devil uses our sins, though, to attempt to discourage us as Christians. He'll remind us of the sins that we've done in the past. He'll um, recall to us the temptations to sin that we experience presently. Uh, He'll uh, rotate in our minds over and over and over again our failures and our faults, trying to bring us down. He'll do it to convince us that we're not children of God at all. If the, if the devil can keep us looking at our sins and brooding over them, it'll not be long before he has us discouraged, and discouragement will ultimately mean failure. So don't look at your sins. Look at the Lord. When God looks at a Christian, he does not see his or her sin. He sees the Lord Jesus Christ in him. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 3 says, Your life is hid with Christ in God. When God looks at you, he doesn't see your sin. He sees the Lord Jesus Christ. You are hid with Christ, uh, in Christ. He sees the death that Christ paid for your sins, and he sees the, the sinless blood that Christ shed to pay for your sins. And he accepts us into the beloved because of the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to do the same thing. We need to Concentrate upon what Jesus Christ did for us. Concentrate your attention on verses about Christ's work for us and study often and memorize verses uh, that have to do with the work of Christ in our lives. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 13, Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Uh, remember th- verses like 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 21. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Uh, second, first Peter chapter 2 and verse 24. Who his own self bore our sins in the, his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. And Isaiah chapter 53 and verse 6. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. When you get discouraged about your sins, thank God that Jesus took your place and has already forgiven them. So practice looking to Jesus in moments of discouragement, uh, keeping your hearts and your minds grounded in his redemptive truth. Remind yourself of them and remind yourself that Christ, that in Christ they can you can find victory and joy and strength to overcome your challenges and, que- and troubles. So some questions to consider. Why do you think the devil uses our sins to discourage us in our Christian journey? Number two, how does dwelling on our sins or failures affect our spiritual growth? Number three, what does it mean for our lives to be hidden with Christ in God? Number four, how can focusing on Jesus help us overcome discouragement and maintain a positive perspective? Number five, why is it important to memorize and meditate on verses that highlight Christ's work for us? God bless you until next time.